What's going on guys, my name is Blake and today I'm going to walk you through really quickly how to export TikTok videos in Adobe Premiere. So many TikTok videos are created within the app. Personally, I like to create a lot of mine on the computer so that I can, you know, add some extra effects, maybe time things a little bit closer to the music than I could using my phone. So I end up creating a lot in Adobe Premiere and exporting them and uploading them later on TikTok. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I'm using a project here that I did for my dog's TikTok account. I'll link that below in the description as well as mine. Uh, but it's a simple, pretty simple uh, uh, video here. Basically, I, I took a video of Henry in a in a blue shirt there. Then I keyed out the blue, put a bunch of images behind it. And when I post it, I'm gonna prompt people, see if you can screenshot Peppa the Pig, that type of thing. So I'll play the video through. Uh, this is something that I couldn't have done as easily or as cleanly on my, on my phone. Uh, so that's why I opted to do this on the computer. This is a 1080 by 1920 sequence. Uh, that's full HD, just vertical, not horizontal. I'm I'm editing in 2997 frames per second, but again, this is not going to make a huge deal if you're editing in 24 or even 60. So I'm going to go and hit File, Export Media, or Command M, be Control M if you're on a PC. Uh, now I'm going to make sure that my format is in H.264. And I'm going to come down to preset here and I'm going to do mobile device 1080p HD. Premiere has a ton of different uh, presets, the mobile device presets being one of them. I love the 1080p HD. It gets most of what I need right off the bat and then I tweak a couple of things. First thing we're going to do, I mean, you know, you're going to click here, save it in the right spot, name it what you want. Uh, make sure video and audio are both checked. Down here in the video settings, you can, you notice that it's letterboxed here into widescreen. It kind of does that automatically when you choose this mobile device preset. So you're gonna come over here and check this box here to match source. And we're gonna, it's gonna lock it back into our vertical aspect ratio. As you scroll down here a little bit, I like to do, I like to render at maximum depth. It's not, you know, essential that you do that, but you know, we're trying to, to secure the highest possible output to give TikTok everything it needs to encode it as high as we can get it so um, um, that it's we're giving it a bitrate of eight much higher again than TikTok will end up re-encoding it the theory here is that we just want to give TikTok as much possible information as we can that way we'll have the highest chance at a, at a high quality output so we're going to use maximum render quality uh, if you've rendered anything already in your timeline hit use previews and that's it you're going to hit export and you should be good to go. Now, I usually like to airdrop these to my phone. Uh, if I'm on a Mac, I have a PC as well that I, uh, I'll, you know, if it's small enough, I'll email it. Otherwise, Dropbox has worked great. That way I have a library of all the TikToks that I've done uh, in one place to ever, if I ever need to go back or if I'm gonna repost it on Instagram, that type of thing. Once you have that on your phone, you're good to go to post. Again, TikTok is going to re-encode this a little bit smaller. It's actually going to do it in 720p. The reason we do it in 1080p is, like I said before, we just are trying to maximize our chances at the highest quality output uh, because we can't control the encoding on their side. So we just want to funnel as much information as we can in there. And yeah, come up with a cool caption. Make sure you tag your audio correctly and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I got a bunch of tutorials on the channel already as well as more coming and hope you enjoy the vlogs and stuff. Thanks for watching.